actually got to know Vin through Tony and Kath and Dolores, who have known him for years. And um, they're like, oh, Vin Garbit, what do you mean you've not heard of Vin Garbit? It's like, I'm from Leeds. How would I have heard of Vin Garbit? I'm not even a folky. I sort of do rock and, you know, semi-acoustic. So when they said, he's playing in stairs at the Village Hall, I went, yeah, yeah, I'll come along. So I nearly peed myself laughing because of all his introductions <laughs> and his... It, I was just blown away with it. And the song I love the most, which I'm not going to do, because I don't know it, is the Punjabi girl. Yeah. Just love it. And in typical Vin, he'd like this story, we were in the village hall and he played Punjabi MC. And I'm in the pub in Stades afterwards, and I'm going, I love that song. I just love that. How clever was that? And this woman went, we don't want that sort round here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are talking Stades. I said, excuse me, what did you just say? Fire coming out of me. <laughs> so it nearly came to fisticuffs, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Because of Vin's uh, Punjabi MC, I said, you narrow minded little shit. <laughs> Go back to Manchester if that's what you think. And I moved here to get. So it was Rochdale, actually. Sorry? Rochdale. Oh, Rochdale. Yeah, yeah, not from where I am. You're going to expect that. So <laughs> I know Vin would love that Joe Cox song and. Um, and the rest, but my real lovely story for Vin is um, the silly buggers in stairs put me in charge of the arts festival music one year. And I went, oh God, what do you mean I'm in charge? I went, get loads of musicians, you know loads of musicians. I went, oh yeah, but they're all folkies, is that okay? So we had everybody, we had Richard Granger, oh, just going through them all, I went, I wonder if I can get Vin Garber. Did I ring you, Pat, or did I ring Tony? I can't remember. But I went, and I knew Vin, and he knew me, and I was like, will you do it? Will you headline for us? He went, yeah. <laughs> the lifeboat house was rammed. You just could not get one more person in, could you? And, uh, and it was lovely, and it was just an honour, you know, to get him to headline, and everybody in the village knew of him. And you just couldn't get enough bodies in that lifeboat house. So, and that was great. We had good crack afterwards in the pub, didn't we, in the George? And he got his tin whistle out. So, um, I don't have any Vin songs, but I'm, I'll dedicate this one to him, if I don't fall off this stool. <laughs> Yeah. 